Yeah, that whole area seems too interesting to pass up on, doesn't it? Linebeck Island and Mersey Island and other place island and stuff. Boom, towards the red. This is a quick path. So I've, I've bisected this area and then I walked right across this. Yeah, I've been to that shrine. And then I went like straight across this little land bridge. But I just cut straight through at the time. And none of the other option stuff really came up. Ah. There we go. How's that sword doing? Hey. My mining sword is back in business. <laughs> I covered all the stuff already. There we go. Plan's basically just to cut straight across. Got a few directions. I want to go that way too. The Trilby Valley. Have, I've only barely set foot in a corner of it and that's it. Ah, There's so much game to explore. <laughs> it's hard to even pick a direction and stick to it for five minutes. Like, um, cause in the way you'll like think of several locations neighboring you want to take a look at still. I see you, Liz Alphos. What do you see me? Ha 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 ha. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. They'll never catch me. They'll never catch me. Ha ha! <laughs> do I have a photo of you already? I do. Ah! Those are the sounds of things almost hitting me. Whoa! Hey, boxes full of stuff. They're just apples. They usually are. Whoa, they are dead. Whoa! Projectile. You lose me? <laughs> That's great. That's great. Nope. Where do you get the water from? I don't really see you suck it up from the area you're in. They don't, they don't, they don't seem like they take a, a deep, like, gulp. <laughs> uh oh. I'm under attack. The answer appears to be no. He just was kind of floating. Oh no, all this stuff's gonna be in the water. No! Oh. You straight up can't dive in this game, right? That's unfortunate. I would feel silly if I got this far in the game and just hadn't realized you can, in fact, dive. But Rusty Claymore said, nope, I got that before. Seemed about the specifics, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And sorry. Oh, nope, you got away. Okay, we should burn through some of these breakable items. Let's get to you. <laughs> if I broke that on a bird. Hey, where you going? Are you running for your life? Is that what we're doing? Oh, there he goes. Well, that's impressive. That's a neat trick. Can you teach me that one? Okay, the chance of there being a shrine here has diminished redu significantly. Now that I realize that this is one of those zones where it was, a uh, Right. Yeah, there's the flat marsh area. The real reason it's underexplored is because it's covered in, uh... It's covered in enemy zones. The Bonet Pond goes into a little alcove, though. That's worth investigating. I, I don't see the chance of success being great because it's right next to a tower. So while it is a place I haven't technically explored before... Huh. I don't really see enemies along that. Surprisingly. Well, it is an area I technically haven't explored yet. It's right next to a tower, so you would expect it that, that if there was a shrine there that it probably would have been triggered by the, uh, radar. 
That said, it could be a weird quest. Oh, another one of you guys, huh? I might take a break. I fought a lot of you guys lately. Like an excessive amount. Actually, though, you have you wear a necklace of weapons, and I just used up all my weapons, so that's a decent reason to actually investigate. Huh. Kind of thought that was a heavier weapon than it was, apparently. We Oh, it's broken. Alright, y'all. It's broken. <laughs> it's breaking all my weapons. Oh, it didn't break. Surprisingly. Look at that regular old, like, level one style Hinox. Probably one of the better things to kill, just because they give you so much loot. Do I have a dumb bow that sucks in my inventory? Not really. They're all royal bows or, royal bows or multi-shot bows. Or bonus durability bows and whatnot. Most of them are the same brand as the one that dropped. So while my weapon loot is all over the place, it seems like my ranged... My melee weapon loot is all over the place. My ranged loot is like the same bow over and over again. Forever. It's like the royal bow is just the only one left. Hey! That's an oldie. Just have a straight up, just a circle with one missing in it. Almost forgot that variant still exists. But of course it does. It would be amusing. Yeah, ha ha! To go back to the first zone. It'd be amusing to go back to the first zone and see how many Korok seeds I can, like, I can now, like, instantly identify that I never noticed the first time around. But it just seems like a bit, be a bit of a time waster, I feel like. Like, as a curiosity, it's interesting, but as, like, a, a thing to do for episodes, I'm just thinking, like, no, nah, that'd be, like... A lot of walking in circles on familiar territory, on the off chance that maybe once every half an hour I'll notice something that stands out that I wouldn't have noticed earlier in the playthrough. But I bet there's some weird stuff for, just lying around in plain sight that I either just didn't know about yet, or just missed. Whoa! I mean, that's what Korok seeds are. Everywhere. It's their primary characteristic is how everywhere they are. I. No. Bye. <laughs> it's even marked. Does this go somewhere? There's a shrine down. Oh yeah, there's a a dead guardian down here. <clears throat> I guess that's it, huh? Can you interact with these with magnets? No. Nope. They're not magnetic. I suppose that's probably that. We just went to Tabantha Woods recently, didn't we? Or to bow. I guess that's oh, this little archway. That makes me curious. Let's go a little further. Let's see. I don't know how to. S Can I actually swim up this waterfall? I don't know if I can. I think you might only be able to swim up a waterfall if you can swim under it. If there's not enough standing water, you might not be able to swim. Huh. Weird limitation. Oh well. Whoa. Big ol' purple. Oh. Well, he's not gonna be happy to see me. I, I suppose that's it, isn't it? Just this one bone. I was just like, ooh, an archway. Those are often transitions into, into new locations, according to the game's layout and internal logic, so I was wondering if that maybe indicated a shrine. But right around now, I'm thinking the answer's probably no. How is there another one of you? Holy crap, you guys are so close together. Oh, here we go. I did it. 
<laughs> that was such a bad miss. There we go. Ow! Whoa! That's not an attack I'm used to seeing. That was a bad shot. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Yep, you still take the fire, the damage from the hit, regardless. There we go. Yeah. There are so many of you dudes. I wonder how many Hinoxes there are in the entire game, because it, se it seems like it's got to be a lot. Well, our supply of melee weapons seems healthy again. Yeah, more than healthy. We're in a good spot. Shoink. Another one of you guys. I might as well... The wrong menu. Oh, you're about to break. May as well do myself a favor then. There we go. And that was... A completely non char Oh, it's a quick shot, never mind. Thought it was an uncharacteristic uncharacter blank weapon. No, actually basically everything. Uh, we've, we've hit a level now in this game where we're so high level that... Not only are the weapons almost always like top tier drops constantly, but on top of that, the top tier drops we're getting constantly always have these modifiers, like these additional buffs you see that used to be incredibly rare. In fact, for a long time, were like not even apparently things that existed, but then it became very apparent how, how much they existed. Uh, now I can't get, I can't play for five minutes without seeing them again. Now they're all I see. Well, that's a curiosity. Oops, stop doing that. I always do that. Why do I always do that? I'm so bad about that. I've never been to uh, near Vata Lake. Let's go back in real quick. So I'm actually kind of close to the Mount Laneiru and the starting town area. area. And when I went to Mount Laneiru for the first time, I checked out this little zone to see if something would show up. Never went around here, though. There's a plateau. There's this peak over here, the Peak of Awakening we've never been to, which has a really dramatic name called the Peak of Awakening. And I've never been to the lake, or the plain, so that has me curious. Let's check up- oh, damn, I did it again. Fine. Where was it? Here. Check out this local low point. Curious about that. I'm just gonna warp right over to this area that's right next to the town we're familiar with. Looks like I'll be getting some use out of that Zora armor this episode after all, because I think we're going to go straight up that waterfall as we check out that route. Seven shrines! Seven. I could just look them up and we'd be done with them in like, two in like three episodes from now, but that's not as fun as checking out these weird chunks of map that I've never been to yet. And I love it when I stumble upon weird, obscure shrine quests that no one even told me to look for in the first place. Like, a good example was the one where I, uh... The bottom left corner next to the desert, I went, I went on a little trek. I'm like, there's a weird flat spot on the boundary of the map. What's up with that? And then I looked around in that area, and that's how I ended up finding... Where was it? Right here? I wanted to see what this place was, and then it led to me climbing up here. Oh, look at that. Huh, I missed that. It's clearly a coral leaf right there. Boop. And that led to me going to this weird spot where you have to, like, hold a snowball in front of a thing. That was a trip. I guess that was the beginning of that relatively long expedition where I check where I ended up getting the giant horse too. All because I started off just wanting to check out that one weird low point on the map. Some of these uh, random excursions are more profitable than others in the end, or are more eventful by the end. But damn, some of them really pay off. Yeah, okay, that has me curious. That's a low point that would be hard to see from most angles. They wanted to hide something shriny or otherwise interesting. That'd be a good place to do it. It also might just be a boss fight for like a rock monster. I wouldn't be surprised if like the rock thing comes up out of the ground and attacks me. That kind of looks like one of them. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I think that is one of them. Or it's just that, maybe.
trying not to blow myself up here. There we go. All the things I'm grabbing. Hello, one survivor. Wouldn't want to leave you all alone down here. Now does the wood. I thought the one in the middle was going to be the uh, boss. Because the one in the middle was one of the- it was an ore deposit, but the ore deposits are often attached to the big bad versions because they attack you outright. Hey. So when there was one in the middle specifically on a slightly discolored tuft of ground, I'm like, oh, that's going to get out and attack me. Instead, it seems to be a sort of a sinkhole that these unfortunate little rock elemental organism things have a tendency to fall into, like a trap. And they're just doomed to stay there forever. Like the personified rocks they are. Hey, he's here again. Well, he shows up a lot. A weird chest in the middle of the lake. Hey, no, stop. Oh, how did I miss you? There we go. Destroyed. There we go. Roll Zord up. And having a rather unsuitable choice of a, uh... <laughs> oh god. You can't defeat me, I'm the hero of Hyrule. Ah! I'm not afraid of bees. Disclaimer, may or may not be afraid of bees. This looks weird to me. For some reason. Probably stupid reasons that don't make sense. But still, it looks weird. The landscape is so smooth and non-detailed around here, and then there's this like, cluster of rocks in this one specific spot in the middle of it. Hooray! There was nothing! Nothing at all! I'm the madman. Ooh! Well, that's a Korok waiting to happen. I wonder how I'm gonna get to the top of that waterfall so I can do that crazy jump. If only there was some kind of game mechanic that could help me with that specific scenario. I probably should just put the entire Zora set on, using up all my stamina trying to get across this place. I've made a mistake. Whoa. Thankfully, I think I get air from this, so I can just float to safety afterwards. Yeah. No more stamina lost, mostly. But of course, now I've got it, right? That's a hard jump, isn't it? Can I just float over it? Is that enough? Yeah, haha! -ha. I was gonna say, I don't think my character's gonna even do the diving animation, but even if they could, I don't think they'd ever make it that far. I think I only need one Korok Seed for my final weapon slot upgrade, and then from then on I can just pour them all into, I don't know, bows or something. I'd probably use them equally on bows and shields, just for the sake of using them, because they exist. But I've never felt much need for extra slots for those. Eh, let's, let's not change clothes just to catch some fireflies. Let's go up to the Peak of Awakening instead. And then press the wrong button when I'm trying to apply the hot, the, uh, waypoint. A long way up. Well, I'd be a miss to actually pass up one on one of these, even though I probably should have- I find them so often I almost should pass them up at some point. Hello! Ah, come back. Ooh. Are there flowers along an entire side of this place? That are probably not ones you can pick up though, right? Tons of them though. And now there are fewer. <laughs>
So way down there is the Zora Dam. And a few other areas we've been to before. That's the local... That's two of the Guardians. Now that they have all the lasers around them, especially thinking in terms of witness now. Now that we've established a series of lasers all pointing to my final destination of the game. And they're all technically optional components of the solution and stuff. Wow, I haven't had to climb this whole way up. Whoa. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Oh, that's also a problem. Oh, no, no, never mind. I closed out of it before I heard the sound that confirms the item was actually put on. The, uh, the actual thunk. And so I, th I thought I'd made a terrible mistake. It's a goat trying to knock me off. Ow, he was successful. Ow, jeez, he was really successful. For now. You will pay. Oh, It's like a fainting goat thing going on. Yeah, ha, ha. Bye bye. Oh. Owie. <laughs> I somewhat like the idea that I'm pretty sure I just got the last one ever that I'll need for upgrades, which I, sh I should go ahead and spend right now. And I got the freaking a place called the Peak of Awakening. That's a cool place to get an upgrade like that. My people need me. This guy just came up and he just lifted my house up and then he brought my house down on my head. And that wasn't very nice. Then he became fireflies or something and went to space. No one's ever going to believe me. All right, well, time to go to... Time to get back to Breath of the Wild Blight Town. Land of 20 frames per second or less. There's just so, many, so much foliage and so many individual little guys running around. Oh, yep, that felt it. I felt the frame rate drop right when I looked that direction. <laughs> uh, tell me I have enough, tell me I have enough. Yeah! He's... He's just so happy to be here. Expand a band band weapon stash shalala Shakalo, I can expand your weapon stash no further. Sorry Shakala, come back again. Oh, you have failed me for the last time. Um, let's go right back here then. I tried to exp explore this area a few episodes ago and then uh got sidetracked and then kept finding things. <laughs> Which is basically the best case scenario. I think this is one of the funny things about picking a direction to explore in these games is that you're not... Your destination... Your goal isn't really to reach your destination. Your goal is that other stuff might happen along the way. That's way more interesting than the point of the map that you happen to... Put a marker on, basically. I'm not currently freezing to death, so there's that too. Off to the purple we go. Huh. They seem like they're not they're not friendly. Can I just land on top of you? That'd be kind of cool. Uh oh, don't land on the blades. Oh god. The answer's no. The answer's a firm no, as it turns out. So over there is the guy I need. I need to find the Goron for that. We'll get to that. One of these days I'll find the right Goron for the- Whoa, look how many enemies there are around here. That seems curious. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, he eh. oh, lost line of sight because I went directly above him. Huh. I'm on your body. Ow. That didn't really bother him, honestly. Meow. Things are kind of going, going in a non-ideal fashion at the moment. Everything's on fire now. There we go. Ow! Is that the other one? No.
Ow! Oh crap, I keep forgetting there's a secondary shot to worry about. There we go. Alright, well that was a mess. I was just trying to get my combo started. I really should have frozen him, that's what, that's what I was skipping on. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Oh boy, are you in trouble now. How do you feel about not having legs? <laughs> that was effective. It's like the part where two samurai fight each other and then- Oh god, he's alive. <laughs> I was about to be joking, like, it's like when two samurai fight each other and they slice each other while running, and then it's like, oh no, which one of them's hurt? Because they both look fine, and then one of them falls. Except it was, like, way too long, and then I realized it was actually because he was still alive. <laughs> I'm like, well, that joke's going right out the window. Hi. You're not wanted, Liz Alphos monster. But I can use your arm now to fight the other ones. I never see it coming. What a weird weapon to have available to you. So this is another field full of, the, full of these guys. I never looked over here. Never saw it, but this is like one of the really big fight locations. There's a ton of them here. There's an elk. I'm gonna kill you with the, this guy's arm. Oh. Fine, run away, I guess go, go ahead and survive to the future and stuff. Relatively chill place once you've killed all the horrible monsters that are trying to kill you everywhere. That's really the prerequisite you, you gotta figure out. I see a beehive to steal. Sweet revenge for the beginning of the playthrough. When they were actually more of a hazard because losing a few heart pieces was like a hazard. And also that I finally got my first ever bee, uh, beehive and I destroyed it. And I was heartbroken. So heartbroken. <laughs> Cause I tried to put it on fire cause up until then everything I'd cooked had been cooked by putting it in a fire. And like surprise, if you put the wrong things in fire they just freaking disintegrate. Because you're supposed to learn how to cook with a pot. Which is eventually established by the game when you get to the other- when you get to other locations where there's clearly a cooking pot. And you learn that you can click on it to like, actually add ingredients to it. But before then, the first guy that teaches you about cooking is like, Hey, yeah, t here's, I'm- I'm baking apples or whatever. And, uh, and he's just hanging out outside your resurrection shrine. That guy's just- It's sitting there with a fire with no pot. And I cooked successfully by just like, dumping apples on it. So I'm like, I got this. What was that sound? Oh, look at you. You're so lonely. I'll fix your loneliness. There you go. I've broken you into ten different little pieces. That means that you're- oh, there is more of you. I was gonna say, if I break them into little pieces, then they can be friends with themselves. That's probably how rock life forms work. You can't prove me wrong. What are you gonna do, ask one? That's what I thought. Shrine! It's dra dragon! Hi! Have I photographed you before? That's not the right thing. That's Dinral. Alright, never mind. Just wasn't expecting him on the horizon. So I've never been over here, right? Okay. I think a good idea. Ooh, I've never been to the quarry yet either, besides the very beginning of it, I guess. So I'll draw I'll climb Ulri Mountain. Because Ulri Mountain right near here has it clearly has one of these right here, the uh what I call the witness tree. Which one of these apples is different? And then from there we'll, we'll cut across to, what is it? Shadow Pass and the quarry. That seems like the thing to do. Ah. Rain, why? I guess I'm just made to suffer. 